Mr. Speaker, this budget is about moving forward in a new era, a period of great uncertainty and troubles in the external environment which will pose formidable challenges for all of us. We are taking comprehensive measures to help Singaporeans tie through the immediate cost of living pressures. Importantly, we are making decisive moves to secure Singapore's prospects by growing our economy, equipping our workers, strengthening our social compact, and building a more resilient nation. These moves are part of the broader, broader strategy for our next bound of development, which we are co-creating with Singaporeans through the Forward Singapore exercise. The road ahead will not be easy, but it has never been and will never be that easy for us. We are a little red dot, a country that was never meant to be. We are more exposed and vulnerable than others to external forces beyond our control. And in our short history since independence, we have repeatedly faced crisis and will continue to do so. But we have never shied away from adversity and challenges. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew and our pioneer generation set the tone for how we should respond with grit and tenacity and with the courage to dream big and turn these dreams into reality. And since then, successive generations of Singaporeans have sustained the hard work to take Singapore forward. This is why we are in a much stronger position today. We have also emerged from the last three years of COVID-19 more united than before. There is a high regard around the world for the Singapore brand, our honesty, integrity, and reliability. Investors trust us. They see advantage in our tripartite system, our open economy, and our cohesive society. These are fundamentals that will set us apart. But our real strength is in our people, who we are and what we stand for. We are a people with an indomitable and never-say-die spirit. We are quick in adapting and responding to changes in the world. We believe in stretching ourselves, pursuing excellence, and striving to do better. And we strive not just for ourselves and our families, but also for those around us. Because we are also a caring, gracious, and generous people. We treat each other as equals, we respect and look out for one another, and we are ever ready to extend a helping hand to those in need. Uh, we see this spirit in Singaporeans like Miss Emily Yap, who is a registered nurse at Alexandria Hospital. Uh, Emily has been hard at work at the COVID front lines. Despite this heavy workload, she still volunteers on her off days to care for the wider community. She draws inspiration from her grandmother, who also worked as her, a nurse her whole life. So Emily started a ground-up initiative with other like-minded young people during the pandemic, she and her fellow volunteers helped to deliver grocery packs to the elderly and lower-income families in her community. She also used her CDC vouchers, not for herself, but to buy kueh bangkit from her neighborhood bakery and shared them with vulnerable families over the Lunar New Year. Sir, this is what the Singapore spirit is about. And we have seen this in action and experienced it in abundance over the last three years how we are responsible for one another, keep an eye out for our fellow citizens and always band together as a team. And as one united people, we can move forward with confidence in this new era and shape a brighter future and a better Singapore together.